During the height of the Cold War, the Soviet Union embarked on ambitious projects aiming to build unseen weapons. The Caspian Sea Monster, a gigantic machine that was neither a plane nor a ship, was born. This enormous vehicle utilized a special technology known as the ground effect phenomenon to glide from one point to another. This is Invents KE, giving you an opportunity to get in touch with the secrets of one of the most astonishing and mysterious engineering work from the Cold War. Let us uncover the monster's history, explore the ground effect phenomenon, understand why it is neither a plane nor a ship, examine its immense size, and discover the reasons why the production of the monster stopped. The Caspian Sea Monster, officially known as the Korable Make It, was a revolutionary ground effect vehicle developed by the Soviet Union. Construction of the Caspian Sea Monster started in 1964, and it was completed in 1966 under the guidance of engineer Rostislav Alexiv. The Soviet Union sought to create a vehicle that could combine the speed and efficiency of an aircraft with the cargo-carrying capabilities of a ship. It was powered by 10 jet engines, 8 mounted on the forward and 2 at the tail. It could achieve speeds of up to 500 km per hour while flying just a few meters above the water's surface, utilizing the ground effect phenomenon. This ground effect vehicle was capable of carrying significant payloads, making it ideal for military applications. Its ability to fly slightly above the sea water made it undetected by the enemy's radar. The monster remained in operation until the early 1980s, when it was damaged in an accident and subsequently abandoned. Its remains were left on the shores of the Caspian Sea, serving as a testament to the Soviet Union's ambitious and innovative engineering efforts during the Cold War. Despite looking close to an airplane and weighing 550 tons, the monster of the Caspian Sea was 21.8 meters high, 38 meters wide, and 92 meters long. For comparison purposes, a fully loaded Boeing 747 exceeds 300 tons, but the monster could reach a weight of 500 tons. The production and further development of the Caspian Sea Monster and similar vehicles were halted due to several reasons. The development and production of the Caspian Sea Monster were extremely expensive. The complex technology and materials required made it cost prohibitive, especially compared to other military and transport vehicles. 2. Technological Challenges The Ekranoplan technology was ahead of its time, and many technological hurdles were difficult to overcome. Issues with stability, control, and safety under various weather conditions and sea states posed significant challenges. By the time the Caspian Sea Monster was operational, military strategies and priorities had shifted. The Soviet Union started focusing more on ballistic missiles and submarine warfare, which were deemed more effective and versatile for their strategic needs. The Caspian Sea Monster suffered from several accidents and reliability issues. These incidents raised concerns about the feasibility and safety of Ekranoplans, leading to reduced enthusiasm and support for the project. While the Caspian Sea Monster had impressive capabilities, its operational use was limited. It was designed for specific scenarios like fast troop deployment and anti-ship missions, but these niche roles did not justify the high costs and risks associated with its production and deployment. These factors combined led to the cessation of further development and production of the Caspian Sea Monster and similar Ekranoplan projects. The Caspian Sea Monster was a groundbreaking project that showcased the ingenuity and technological prowess of the Soviet Union. Despite its challenges and ultimate abandonment, its development pushed the boundaries of what was possible in aviation and maritime technology. Today, it remains a fascinating chapter in the history of engineering, a relic of a time when the race for technological superiority drove some of the most ambitious and unconventional projects ever conceived. Subscribe for more!